day everyone this is john scarborough uh kind of still trying to get set up and figure out how i want my setup for my sawmill i've done several different things i, I made another video i'll probably have that one posted uh with us building this over here we cut all that green and built it now we're letting it dry with weight on it and everything and then we've got several pieces cut that we did we cut some stickers um things like that uh we've got some lumber cut over there we're going to build a rack for all of our trash all of the junk and stuff we're going to we're trying to figure out the most efficient way to do it and now i'm working on stacking i've gotten some four by fours cut out um that we're going to use for stacking but then i got this over here i want to show you all what we're doing here uh we walk around here maybe where it's a little bit quieter show you all how we're doing this these couple of stacks right here these are things um these are kind of my first cut things i wanted to try my blade out get used to everything before i got too crazy with all of my precision cutting so i cut stuff that didn't matter if it had a little wave in it or not um just to practice and play with it you can tell uh right here got a quarter inch cut i stacked that directly on top uh, of another one just because i think if i would have tried to put a spacer between it it would have had bowing regardless um and but you can tell it's got definitely some some bowing a, a to it um but i think a big part of that's my fault i actually had put these out and i didn't have any stat uh didn't have any um of those spacers yet um so anyway it sat there just a little bit longer than i wanted to uh, but anyway, so we got those there. I used old scrap pieces of log underneath to stack them on in this case Not my favorite way to do it, but that is what we did uh, just to get it out of the way and then all of our little scraps here uh, I'm just using my scrap pieces that I don't necessarily want to throw away because that's a two before thickness So I could I could cut that out and get some probably uh, two by twos or even some two before maybe a two before out of there or something so I don't really want to throw it away just yet because I may end up using it. So I just figure for now, I'll just use that for weight uh, and then kind of as a storage method. This is what I got going on here. This is what I'm thinking for the stacking part of it. Um, I've got all of these cutoffs, like I just showed you on the mill, um, where I'll cut a log like this. I've gotten, now of course if I go out and cut this log myself, I'm going to make sure that I cut it to the length that I want it, maybe just a hair above. That way I don't have those cutoff waste. I'll have a little cutoff waste here and there, but I'm not going to have nearly as many. Um, but I've gotten several people that have given me trees that they cut up. Um, these right here were given to me from a log service. Uh, those were just cut down, those two, those over there, and then all of these were cut down. Um, on other people's places and they gave them to me um, So they were cut at just kind of random lengths. So when I have that I had several pieces of waste several waste uh, products one uh, Waste was five was a five foot log and that's what I got these four befores out of uh, Five foot four befores and then there's several cut off waste here that I've got So what I've decided to do is to cut those to about four to four and a half inches those uh, little donuts you might call them and then throw those on the ground first and then put my four before on top of that and then i'll start stacking my lumber here um, this is going to be for 10 foot lumber right here i haven't decided whether or not i want to do five four befores or three four befores um, this is going to be for two by material so if anybody knows in the comments what y'all if y'all have had some experience with that if three is enough let me know if you think i need five go ahead and let me know that um, I'm not ready to start stacking here yet. This I think is going to be for our dimensional lumber our good dimensional lumber We're going to put here um, So just let me know what y'all think in the comments whether I should have five or is three enough um, but anyway, so You can see I think this is going to be really awesome because this is a good way to use up the scrap There's always just going to be little pieces laying around. There's gonna be little little bits that you don't want um, and I'll give you a scenario even when I'm cutting my own trees. I'll walk over here real quick um, When I'm cutting my own tree, I like to cut that stump down as low as I can possibly cut it uh, I like to cut it all the way down to the ground without putting my chainsaw in the dirt of course but as low as I can to where I've got um, uh, To where I can get a brush hog over top of it so when I do that, you end up with a big old swell at the end. Okay, we cut this off of our place. 
So look at how massive that swell is. Well, the small side of your tree is what dictates the size of your lumber. That's gonna be the size of my lumber right there. So I've got a nearly a 12 inch bulge out at the end of it, or maybe a little bit more than that. And I'll end up, and I'll end up with probably two by eights down here, maybe two by sixes down here. Uh, probably, I'll probably get some two by eights out of it. Um, but anyway, so you see that, uh, and it swells out naturally, gradually, but it's all, the majority of it is at the end. So when I cut this log, I cut this log at about nine and a half foot. That way I can cut this to eight foot four. I can have just a little bit longer than my eight foot if I do eight foot boards, and then I'll have a good, a little bit more than a foot that I'll be able to cut off. So the point is, is that that would have been waste anyway because I had to cut that off um, from the ground so that I can brush hog over it, okay? But then all of this right here, um, I, I don't want to cut. I don't want to, I'd have an awful lot of waste anyway, no matter what I'm doing, because if I cut down to an eight foot log, I mean, we'd have that much waste there. All of that would be wasted anyway. So what I'm gonna do, and, and, and it's fine. If that's what you want to do is make a 10 foot log, then you can do that and on this oak log i may go ahead and do that because it is oak and oak is pretty valuable to me okay especially white oak okay so i might would go ahead and do that and, and use that as as waste okay but this is just still one option it gives me an option where i can cut those down into little cookies and use them for stackers um, rather than going to buy the cinder blocks and things like that and, and i'm not saying i wouldn't buy the cinder blocks i might do that um, but this is just one option. I'm gonna try it out. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and we'll go from there. One thing I do like about this is when I first started this, I was kind of under the assumption that my four by fours would be waste logs. They'd be sacrificial logs. And I kind of hated that because you would add up to quite a few four by fours um, that would eventually be thrown out. So I really like this, whether I use cinder blocks or what I use, because I feel like that that's going to preserve that 4x4 and, a, and at least the 4x4 the should last um, quite a bit longer rather than laying it straight down on the ground. Um, so anyway guys, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. And if y'all got any comments or anything like that on there, please put it in there. Talk to each other, talk amongst yourselves and throw comments in there for me as well. Thank you.